Right. So um, the talk is going to be about the fellows and freedom. So I'm going to be talking about my ethnography on the embodied experiences of Tinder users in Cape Town. The fellows in the title, to give this away um, from the beginning, is a reference to Anthony Giddens' uh, idea of phallic sexuality. But um, I use it as a synonym for fixed understandings of uh, gender and other identity categories. All right. Um, for my ongoing ethnographic PhD work in Cape Town and South Africa, I've been looking at the phenomenology of tindering, that is um, using dating applications like Tinder. Um, and I focused on the particular ways in which technology is used by my participants to continuously learn about themselves and enhance the sub subjectivities and extend themselves. I investigate whether Tinder and uh, similarly organized apps reinforce rigid gender and other identities and or whether there is a potential of technologically enhanced selves to contest these identities. Um, my focus therefore light on notions of identity as well as aspects of power and agency. Do relationships become democratized in post-apartheid South Africa, a richly diverse context and also problematic reference? Um, yes. So I recruited 25 um, participants, this here is the breakdown of them, uh, via a research profile on Tinder and interviewed them in person over a period of one year. And I also conducted participant observation. More than 75% of uh, my female participants and two of my male participants had been in um, same-sex relationships as well as heterosexual relationships. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you my research profile right here. So this is what it looked like and this is what it looks like when two people swipe right depending on the profile that they have. And yeah, uh, moving to my findings. Um, there are both challenges and opportunities when navigating desires um, via technologies that uh, allow for fantasy to meet corporate reality in very interesting ways. Um, two major challenges are the pervasiveness of gender roles and the persistence of embodied uh, ethnic boundaries. And these become perpetuated by dating apps like Tinder. My participants were struggling with the insecurities that underlie the dating game. The rules of the game are unknown. So that makes it very, meeting strangers a very precarious exercise. For this and other reasons, my participants would um, frequently delete the app. However, despite the frustrations leading to the regular deletion of the app, um, they would persistently re-download it with um, varying intentions and changing approaches. So therefore they would use the app to extend themselves beyond their comfort zone, at least in certain aspects. And in the process, nuances of the self were discovered, thus adding to social scripts. So this uh, extension of self, um, also involves the transgression of particular and embodied, gendered, racialized and classed roles. And this is not without hurdles and anticipated backlash. Uh, for instance, intergenerational differences were used as an explanation not to cross ethnic lines with the words, I can't bring a black person home. Meanwhile, gender fluidity, also supposedly disapproved of by an older generation, was more freely experimented with. And another example for self-extension is a 53-year-old participant of mine. Let's call him Sylvester. Sylvester became intimate with someone he categorized as Black, an apartheid racial category, and emphasized that this was an experience he would never have thought would happen. So my research shows that tensions between 
the freedom and um, autonomy promised by technology uh, on the one hand and social confines on the other is navigated in different ways. So this involves continuously changing notions of identity that are sometimes in conflict um, with embodied social scripts. And yeah, thus various challenges come to the fore in, in the process and rendering it difficult to create even a momentary sense of self. The continued searches for, for desire and, and meaningfulness by, by the users, by my participants, despite these challenges and episodes of frustration, um, can be interpreted as a move away from strict identity categories. Um, and efforts to connect with strangers in these ways requires an ability to understand yourself as fuzzy, complex, and non-constant, and to provide others with the opportunity to explore from their perspective. Yes, it's